it was during my PhD that I decided, actually, I really like this. You know, I like the intellectual challenge of problem solving. I like the excitement of discovery. And I also like uh, the fact that, to me, research is a profound reflection of um, our humanity. All the time, and mostly without our noticing it, our bodies are under attack from external pathogens capable of causing more or less serious infections. Our immune system plays an essential part in protecting us from these aggressions and in implementing appropriate defense measures. Ketano Reise Souza decided to study immunology, a subject that led him to take a closer look at this natural biological process, which is an inborn body function. It was this research that led him to the dendritic cells. These cells were already discovered by the end of the 19th century, but at the time were still shrouded in mystery, particularly as regards their role and potential with regard to immune response processes. Dendritic cells are the orchestrators of the immune response. They are sentinel cells that detect disturbances uh, and effectively transmit that information to other cells of the immune system and thereby mobilizing them to deal with the disturbance. Now, when I started to work with dendritic cells, they were by no means as famous as they are now. Uh, it was more of a niche area uh, that was worked on by a, a few groups around the world. And their notoriety came a little bit later when it became realized how important they truly were uh, in driving immune responses. We have learned an enormous amount uh, since then, and they have become a sort of cornerstone of modern immunology because it has been realized how many other parts of the immune system ultimately depend uh, on uh, the actions of these cells. The research undertaken by Kitana Reise Souza and his colleagues proved that dendritic cells play their part in detecting pathogens, but not only that. They also demonstrated their capacity to detect dying infected cells as well as cancer cells. This discovery is important for the development of numerous medical treatments in the field of immunotherapy and for vaccines against cancer. But as is often the case in science, the research opened up other so far unexplained and unexploited possibilities. What we're basically doing is we're using a model of intrathoracic injection where we inject different substances of interest, like for instance part of the cytoskeleton, the tiny skeleton that makes up a cell, is injected in defined quantities by help of a microcapillary into the fly. And then we, ex we look at different changes in the fly's physiology, like for instance changes in expression of, of particular genes. If you're making an experiment, you get the result, you look at it and think, hmm, probably I'm the first human being who's actually seeing that or who's hang having this realization. You see something which no one has ever seen before, that's for me, that's the main driver. The finding of distinct molecules that enable cells to recognize uh, dangerous pathogens, signal and induce effector mechanisms that uh, activate the immune system it is a truly inspiring body of work. I, I, I've watched this field grow. Um, it's rare to see so much discovery with so much medical implication in such a short period of time. A terrific thing to see Catano's position at the head of this field recognized in this way. Caetano Reisi Souza was born in Portugal but with his family's support undertook his university education in the United Kingdom. Armed with a degree in immunology from Oxford University, he spent some time across the Atlantic before returning to London to continue his research at the Imperial Cancer Research Fund, later to become the London Research Institute. In 2015, this research centre helped set up the Francis Crick Institute, an establishment as innovative in its scientific objectives as in the architecture of its building. People have become aware of the need for larger groups of scientists to collaborate and this is what the institution does. It, it brings together previous research institutes which were rather successful in truth 
uh, but it has amalgamated them, brought them together uh, with uh, some of the major universities in this city um, to a greater, larger and more dynamic institution. It's pretty, pretty amazing in terms of what it brings because it's bringing in researchers from uh, multiple institutes with different backgrounds and different expertise, which is important because uh, you will never find all the expertise in one scientist or in one laboratory. So it's important, I believe, in science to collaborate. It's not possible to have the knowledge on all the different topics in biology and it's really helpful when you can go talk to experts in a different field that can help you with your own projects. The Francis Crick Institute offers not only a favourable environment for making discoveries, but also for generating a multitude of new ideas. Everything is there for promoting science and medicine, and Kitana Ray Sesusa's laboratory reflects this drive and enthusiasm. His team appreciates how well he manages his laboratory, while at the same time pursuing his own scientific career. He generates a, a good atmosphere in the lab. He's very supportive of his lab members. So I know that when people are applying for grants and things like that and they need to write some proposals or give interviews, he will help. He does care. So if you want to progress and become a group leader, and a lot of the lab, previous lab members have gone on to start their own labs, and I think a lot of it has to do with Catano's support to help them. Often with scientists, they've, they've done a lot of research training but when they run a lab they have to manage people and that may be where lots of people fall down but he doesn't. Dendritic cells have not yet yielded up all their secrets nor is their unbelievably important role in the body's immune response system fully understood. Kitano Reisi Souza will therefore continue his research into these mysterious and fascinating cells. It's a limitless field of scientific investigation and one which obliges Kitano Reisi Souza to train and encourage today's young biologists for the future. An important thing in, in, to understand uh, in science is the pace of discovery is such that your own discoveries have a very short half-life. And in fact, the greatest possible recognition of your discoveries is when they make it into textbooks such that no one knows that it was you who discovered them in the first place. So in many ways, one of the important facets of science for me is the feeling that I am creating uh, not just the day-to-day -day process of discovery in my lab, but setting the seeds for others to go on and if they continue in science, perpetuate that process and train their own people in the way that they have been trained. cells.